Hi everyone, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. Push notification bell to be notified every time I upload on YouTube. Love you guys so much, hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be amazing. Yay! Absolutely amazing game. Totally recommend it. There you go. There goes Logo. Oh, dear. Wow. I said yesterday to you guys not did the Titanic Wreck Tour videos that I'll be doing this again. There it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there we go, we're at the bottom of the ocean now. Well, it's alright, just had to clean the lenses quickly. That's alright, right. I'm good. Okay, you better place a marker before we head too far. Interact with the marker's been placed. To place you can head towards the bow. So, Here we go, we're going towards the bow right now of the Titanic. For $45,000 a day? Let's just hope we find something. Never mind the money, my doctorate is riding on this. I should get my lights ready now that I'm getting close to the dial. You can control the movement of the sub's lights by using the up, down, left, and right buttons on your controller. To turn the spotlights on and off, interact with the button in front of the lever. The Titanic course. Whoa. There's something you don't see every day. She's a beauty. Wow. Okay, first things first. We've got a contract with the Titanic Society to place their commemorative plaque on the forecastle deck. Get yourself into position. All right. All right. Coming up to it now. You'll need the predator for this task. Ah, the ROV. Yep, courtesy of flight avionics and the latest in... The controls to maneuver the predator are the same as the submersible. Make your way over to the plaques already laying on the deck. And remember that the range is only up to 15 meters. The advantage of driving without an umbilical. Is there any way to boost the signal? Yeah, but we need to upgrade the deep sea transmitter and they don't come cheap. The generosity of our sponsors and UNS funding only goes so far. If we complete these contract jobs, we might just be able to afford some upgrades. What happens if I go out of range? The automatic recall kicks in. ROV comes straight back to the sub. I'm here. Great. The plaque we're placing is in the Predator's inventory. I'll take a photograph. You can access it through the... Press the cross button to take a photograph. 
You can get out of camera mode by pressing and releasing the info button again. I'll head back to Sedna. No need. Just press the triangle button on your controller. This is the return button. Now you're back in the shop. Recall the ROV by pressing the button next to the ROV goggles. It's above you on the right. Where to now? Whole breach on E deck. I'll map it on your map. We're heading for his cabin, right? That's right. I wrote this testimony that Henderson kept a journal. It should tell us more about his activities on the final night. I presume I'm looking for some kind of trunk. Henderson had a briefcase listed on the manifest. With any luck, it's still in his room. Dr. Lynch? Yeah? Yeah. Why are we doing this? $45,000 a day at sea. No, I know, but that just about covers the costs of the expedition. I meant, like, why are we taking this job in particular? Well, put it this way. Why do you think she hired us? Because we're academics? Yes, yes, but more specifically, we respect the history. It would have been cheaper for our sponsor to just hire a salvage team. And why do you agree to take it? A funding like this comes once in a blue moon, and I wanted to see her up close. This breach is from the impact with the ocean floor. Anything in here is going to be messy. I'll keep my eyes peeled. It's towards the top of the breach. Look for the flashing beacon. Uh, yeah, I can I see really it. Hope his briefcase is there. I just need to pick it up by pressing the cross button to interact. WJH. I think this is it. Well, that's lucky. Are you going to open it? This is his camp. This is his camp. If anything intact in there, it'll start degrading as soon as I open the case. I'll have to bring it back to the lab. This is his camp. Okay, you should put the briefcase in the predator's storage then. Just open and close the menu again by pressing and releasing the info button. The briefcase will appear in the ROV's inventory as a selectable item. Uh, you'll have your hands free again. Sorry. Sorry. So I'm playing this game. It's a bit. I'll head back to the lab now. Yep. Just return to the submersible and you can head up from there. I can't wait to see what's inside. Look at the size of her, she's absolutely massive. Let's get you to the surface. Activate the autopilot and get comfortable. All right. All right, I'll see you in about, see you in about two, hours. two hours. Whoa, Whoa, looks to be in good condition. This journal is pretty special. Let's get this cleaned up. A bone hair comb. I'll need to wash the salt out quickly before it crystallizes and the bone starts to crumble. It's right. Silver doesn't look great after being in the ocean. This tobacco tin is covered in silver sulfide. I'll have to gently wash this using a soft brush, making sure I don't scratch the surface underneath. It's come up great. These banknotes are delicate, and we'll need a good rinsing in the desalination bath. Then we can treat them in the fungicide to keep them clean before freeze drying them.
Hmm. Looks like a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of April 14th. That's strange. I haven't found any. Here's our sponsor. We can tell her the news. Hi, team. How are you both? Hi, Jillian. We're doing great. We've just finished cleaning the artifacts we found today. We managed to access Henderson's cabin and retrieve his briefcase. Wonderful. Inside, we found his journal, a few personal items still in good condition. One interesting item is a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of the sinking. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't know William sent a message. That's what we thought. It's possible it wasn't sent, and that it's still in either the purser's office or the Marconi room. We're thinking our next dive should be to explore these rooms. I know teams have searched the Marconi room before, but I didn't think the purser's office was accessible. Yeah, up till now it's been off limits due to the size of our OVs, but ours is small enough to access it. We're hoping we might find the purser's record book, with the message listed. As for the Marconi room, other dives have shown most of the furniture is deteriorated, but the telegraph canisters might have survived. Hmm, sounds plausible. Let me know if you find anything. I'd love to see the message he sent. I've only the letters from Southampton. I noticed something odd in his journal. On the 14th he mentions carrying some special package, but I'm sure he didn't have anything reported in the manifest. Do you have any idea what it could be? Well, in his last letter, he wrote about returning home with a present for my great-grandmother. I'll do a bit of research on my end. I can check over the manifest again to see if we missed anything. Great, we'll let you know if we find anything tomorrow. I'm sending over photos of the items we found today. Thanks, I really appreciate the regular updates. It's making writing much easier. We'll talk again soon. Well, shall we call it a day? Not quite. Jillian was kind enough to order in a stronger transmitter for our ROV. We'll need to fit it before the dive tomorrow. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach the purser's office. I'll get on it now, then. It's waiting for you over there. Thanks. I need to replace the transmitter in the ROV with the one on the table next to it. The instructions for replacement are on the posters behind the ROV rack, and I can access the lower sections of the ROV by lifting the rack bar up. She's all ready to go for tomorrow. Cool. I'll see you in the morning then.